The metaverse is a controversial new emerging technology that seems to be dividing even the more tech-savvy crowds. On one hand, you have huge companies like Meta, Google and Microsoft investing billions of dollars into this new promised land. On the other hand, the media isn't as enthusiastic and you have viral videos of people trying the current attempts in the metaverse and not being too impressed. Even the people that I talk to and personally know don't really like the idea. I have to say that even I, who spend half of my time working in 3D technologies and the second half of my career in crypto, was initially quite skeptic. I've spent my entire childhood playing MMORPGs such as World of Warcraft or Prison Tale. I spent hundreds if not thousands of hours in digital worlds with digital characters and making digital friends. How is that not the metaverse? And if so, what is the difference between a metaverse and a game? My epiphany came from a source potentially as controversial as the metaverse itself. It's a game called Star Citizen. Star Citizen is somewhat of a meme in the gaming industry, partially because it's been in development since 2012 and it's still not out. And the current alpha version that it is available, even though it's been in development for so long, it's hilariously glitchy. But it was this very game that made me realize, oh wait, maybe there is a difference. Within my first hour in the world of Star Citizen, which the players themselves, by the way, call the verse, I realized that I'm in a digital world like never before in terms of fidelity, quality, but what most importantly, what they call persistence. Now, what does persistence really mean in the world of Star Citizen? Well, it means that if you leave an item anywhere on the planet, it remains there as long as you connect to the same server or shard as they call it. There is history, there's items floating around, there's things that people have left behind. It made me feel like I was part of an alternate reality exactly what I would imagine the metaverse would feel like. Real world is persistent. Our actions have long lasting, usually visible consequences. It continues to evolve whether you're part of it or not. It's not like in games where you can reload every time you screw up or die. Ever since I experienced a persistent digital world, I was convinced that it is one of the key ingredients to a potential metaverse and what sets it apart from being just a game. Star Citizen, of course, isn't the first attempt at persistence in game worlds. This concept goes back as early as 1978 to the University of Essex when the first MUD, multi-user dungeon, was prototyped. It's a text-based persistent world that allows users around the world to contribute to. Many similar projects followed the trend over the next decade, with Avalon The Legend Lives being the most successful one, released in 1989. It is still available today, making it the oldest living online RPG. Some of the more modern projects featuring Persistent Worlds include EVE Online, Realms of Trinity, and of course Minecraft. Now, persistence means different things in different games. Also, the levels of persistence vary based on what makes sense for the game and what's technically possible. This is why Star Citizen has caught my attention, because it featured levels of persistence I didn't know were possible. Naturally, I had to learn how they're doing it. Luckily for us, Star Citizen has a whole YouTube channel dedicated to the development of the game, and they talk in depth about the technology of persistence in their game. It essentially relies on a complex hierarchy system of the universe, a spider web of objects and their relationships with one another. The Persistence Entity Streaming, or PES, technology is responsible for dynamically loading and offloading these objects and their states, depending on where you are in the universe. As this is a lot of data to process for a single server, the PES system is designed to operate in conjunction with the game's server meshing technology, which allows multiple servers to work together to simulate the game world. Together, these technologies enable Star Citizen to create a persistent living universe that can support a large and active player community. However, persistence isn't without its own problems. The new version of Star Citizen featuring PES came out just a few weeks ago and nothing worked. It was as glitchy as the memes say. A couple patches later, the game sort of works. And I've since spent a bunch of hours trashing a diner, finding a naked man lying on the floor and finding a spaceship stuck inside a station. Adding persistence to the world means living with the consequences of player actions. Some in-game mechanics such as ship salvaging will prevent space junk from flying around, but it also means a lot of outer trash. If it continues to be like that, we're gonna need a new mission type called the cleaning man. Anyway, whether you like Star Citizen or not, it's difficult to deny the amount of determination and work that goes into the technology behind this project. 
It pushes the limits of what's currently possible in creation of large, online, persistent, and honestly beautiful worlds. It is this very technology that inspired me to continue researching on the various aspects of the metaverse. It creates a feeling of an alternate, ever-evolving world and achieves level of immersions I have not experienced before, even though I've been gaming my entire life.